Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are back inside of AnyType again. I have been playing around with some other apps lately, but we are back inside of AnyType to make a new AnyType video. And today I wanted to show you how you could manage projects and what I will be using as an example, because that's the only thing I could come up with is my own YouTube channel and my own social media channels. So the way I want to do this, there are two ways you could do this for, for example, social media. I will show you the first one quite quickly and I will show you the second one as well. So let's start with the first one. We will just jump into uh, the any type library here and we will create a new type called social media idea. So this way of uh, this way of working or this way of managing a project can work with several things, not just social media, but in my case, I'm just using social media as an example. Now we have the social media idea uh, type and we can create ourselves a set. Uh, so this, the first one will be with a set and not a collection. The second one will actually be with a collection. It looks like I actually have two types uh, for social media ideas. Anyways, we will call this social media dashboard. We could call it, you could call it anything you wanted to, but I would add a social media idea. Let's say any type project video, which I'm filming right now, and I could add different relations. I like to have a tag I like to have a related uh, resource. So here I would use my um, uh, knowledge base. Uh, so this would be, I need to create a new one. Just give me a second. Here you would create one called resource. Uh, create a new resource relation type will be object and we can limit the object types to be books podcasts, movies, articles, that is probably it. I would include notes here as well. And we could create this. So you could easily have your resources uh, easily be seen in your uh, database or in your set. So I create my different relations. I actually have the same relations whether it is a collection or it is a set. The only difference is that I use um, another tag uh, relation which I can call tag social media. So I think I have one. No, I don't. Let's just call this tag social media, create the tag and we would add YouTube, Facebook and so on. So I would do this whenever I have a set. But you can do this in a collection as well. And I have a video planned in the future, uh, which will I am going to make a movies database, which will be quite cool because I'm really excited for that one. But let's create this set now. Uh, this will also be social media ideas. And here we would create a bunch of different objects. So just to show you a couple of examples, YouTube video would be um, an object. Instagram post would probably be an object, uh, Facebook post and so on. And the reason why this is a little bit better, I actually don't do this inside of my own any type uh, space, but this would be a lot better because you can easily make templates and different relations. So there are a few key things I would like to measure inside of a database like this, one of them being video duration. And you can't easily do that in your relations tab if you are uh, using a set because an Instagram post or a Facebook post doesn't have a video duration unless you post videos but that's beside the point. So you could create templates for each one of these and you can create different relations for each one of these. That's why I like this better 
in this specific use case. Uh, and just to explain how you could use this, let's say you have a project that you have to put several different things inside of, uh, or a long-term project. I mostly do this for my long-term projects. My short-term projects has another workflow, which I will get into in another video. I am planning to do a full any type video as well. But just to explain the difference here, if you have a project that have uh, has many things inside of it with different relations, with different templates, and they are just generally different, I would recommend going for a collection with different types. Uh, but if you have a project that everything is quite similar, I would create an object type and just uh, use a set that is probably easier in that case. But I would do the same here, I would jump into my um, social media idea, I would create a new, uh, a new object and I would let's do an Instagram post um, and we can call this any type post post and I would start adding the different relations so here I would have a tag but I did, that is just because of uh, whether or not it is personal or it is for my clothing brand because I do run a clothing brand and I have my personal social medias as well or if it's related to a project for example I have done some projects for others uh, and made videos for different companies a couple of times and that's when the project tag is useful. Uh, then we have our creation date I like to have my creation date and we will add the resources here as well I I think I already have it, yes I do, and it would look pretty much like this. Just to show you inside of my own space, we can jump into my personal social media and my social media ideas. So this is how it looks. Um, this is basically how this looks with the different apps. Here I have apps because I review apps so I have all of the different apps with information inside of them whether or not it is personal or it is for my clothing brand or for my job so it all depends on it all depends on where I am going to use it uh, so this is basically how my um, my social media dashboard looks and that is probably everything for today's video. If you have any questions, if you're wondering about anything, please do comment it down below and I will try to get to it and even, even make a video on it as soon as I can. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you again quite soon.